Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use. Cause you what is up, guys? Tom here, and welcome to another Force of Mode Sport 6 video where we're going to be looking at this the Chrysler. Chrysler Rocket 69. Um, well, now you can see this thing on stream now. Now, obviously, you are said now quite a lot already in this video, but we're going to carry on anyway. So, try and not say now again, but this, as you can see, is very strange looking, is one way to put it. Um, well, this is the Chrysler Rocket 69. This is a new car that's been added to Forza, which I think everybody gets. Um, because when I got a message saying redeem me a code or whatever, it said, you're eligible. So I guess it's for everybody, or maybe the active players, I've no idea. Uh, but I guess it's just presuming it's for everybody, like it's free for everyone. Now, this is obviously a fictional car. Now, Chrysler is obviously a bit of a spin off of Chrysler, who are obviously a real American car manufacturer. But this thing, like I said, it's a fictional car. Now, you think, oh, well, turn 10, I think when they bought them, must have just bought this, said, oh, look, this would be a cool thing to put in the game. Well, they didn't. You see, this car is actually from the game Fallout 4. Now, Fallout 4 is sort of like a survival game, if you're not familiar with it. Uh, well, it's survival, like, you know, America, America's been nuked or something, along those kind of lines, if you get what I mean. Um, so, it's that it was from that kind of game, from that kind of game. Now, I hope to God that Fallout 4, the old people who make Fallout 4, actually paid for all them to put this thing in. Because, I swear, if, four, if Turn 10 went to, like, when they made Fallout 4 and said, can we put this car in our game? I, I would just facepalm, because why in the world would you want this thing in the game? Because I thought, level 4 or 6, they're going for more the, the kind of like the simulator route, almost. So they have the weather, they're going, trying to be more about the serious, because it's not always like, this is what we're racing towards and all this kind of thing. I know they put the limo in, that's a real car, that's fine by me, but this... So then they had Ruff, uh, which is obviously the, their kind of Porsche, but obviously now they have the Porsche pack, so they don't really have that. I'm pretty sure they don't have Ruff in Forza 6, but I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, that's fictional, but you can see why you put it in there, because it replicates a car company you don't have the licenses for. This, just no. No, this does not need to be in the game. Uh, but I'll just tell you a bit about it anyway. This is a, it's an S-Class. Uh, mid kind of S-Class, it's got a thousand horsepower, so it's pretty powerful. Uh, 737 foot-pound torque, and it weighs 4,830 pounds, which means it's pretty heavy. It's, I mean, it's shocking at handling, it's four-wheel drive, which gives it more on the steer, which means the handling is absolutely atrocious. It's got lots of horsepower, but the acceleration is strange. Really strange, because it kind of just keeps it, it accelerates at the same pace the whole time. You'll be accelerating sort of at the same pace from 10 miles an hour to 20 than you are 120 to 130. It's very weird. It just kind of it just accelerates at the same pace, but it just keeps going. Um, it's very, very weird. Now, it's Got like a bubble for a windscreen, which looks pretty weird when you're inside the car. That kind of leads me on to talking about the next thing, which is the inside. Now, I'm obviously just going to show you the interior in a couple of seconds. Um, and just look at it, you know, just take it in. Um, then after you've kind of looked at this, have a think about if this car belongs in Forza. So let's have a quick look. Yeah, just just take just take it in. So now ask yourself the question. Does this car belong in Forza? 
this thing does not have a steering wheel. Oh no, because people make Fallout obviously too cool for steering wheels. And obviously in the future, everybody will drive cars with joysticks because that's ten times easier than using a steering wheel. Trust me, the joystick is the thing you use to change gear, not to actually control the car. Uh, I didn't. I thought I knew American Americans kind of drove on the other side of the road and that kind of thing, but didn't didn't think they put the gear lever in the middle and made the gear lever the steering wheel. Like I, well, in the future I don't know. Um, but yeah, it just doesn't belong. As you can see, the dashboard is like all the green and black, which is kind of very Fallout 4 esque, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, I suppose I'm glad that for uh, well, I've turned 10 a bit, adding in these um, sort of like newer, well, free cars. So obviously, I don't buy the, all the DLC packs, and I wanted to see as many free cars as possible. I think there's only been three the Infinity, Infinity Q60, the Nissan Nismo prototype thing, and now this. I think there's only been three cars so far. I hope there's more to come. Because obviously I, I don't buy all the uh, monthly car packs and I just want to keep the game, like, I want the game to stay fresh and keep me, like, enticed to playing it. Uh, so the free cars definitely help. Apart from next time, maybe free cars that are actually real. Um, so I'm not too keen on this car. I don't think I'll be driving it. It's... I know the title of this video will be Does This Car Belong in Forza? Well, so my answer to that question is no. It doesn't put they put it anyway. People are probably gonna have a lot of fun of it. People I suppose there'll be people like me who are more serious I'm not serious about the game, but I suppose there'll be people who are serious about the game who'll have to kind of share the same viewpoint with me. Not that I am serious about it, I suppose it's just a bit of fun. But you know, it's still a bit weird. I'll have a play around with it, see what I can do. Uh, so it is a pretty high class, like I said, S class. So I think I'll just have a play around with it. This is the gameplay you should be able to see here. Uh, it's actually my first time driving this car, and um, the understeer, the body roll, it's just shocking. And it's made in 2069, obviously, which is a long way in the future, and it has white wall tires. Yeah, I, I, I don't think, I don't think much of this car, to be honest. I don't uh, really like it, if I'm completely honest. But anyway, that's my view. Uh, if you do have any views, or you have the game, or anything like that, just like, uh, or you don't have the game, or whatever, Feel free to like tell me your view in the comment. Obviously, every, everybody has their own opinion. I'm interested to see what you think of this. Uh, so if you could leaving a uh, leave comments in the comment section, of, uh, well, it'd really be good to see uh, your kind of points of views and compare them to obviously mine. So I'm not sure how other people think about this. I've not really watched too many videos about this car, so I just wanted to jump in and just look at it. Um, but anyway, uh, guys, this has been the number four or six video looking at this Chrysler Rocket 69, 2069 Fallout 4 American thing, Nuketown 2025 s thing, I, I don't even know, I'm just going to end the video because I don't know what to say anymore because this thing's just a bit stupid, but anyway, that is going to be the end of the video here guys, I've been Tom and I'll see you all later.